crafty task. And it actually is something that I discovered. Well, I thought about doing it for a while, wasn't sure how to do it. I usually just write it all down in my planner, but uh, Heather Kell from the Happy Planner Girl Squad, um, Kell the Plan on YouTube, so go check her out. I'm actually gonna link her video down below. Um, she did a TV schedule using these uh, little half sheets that originally came out in the Trendsetter line and then came out for a while from the Happy Planner. And so the front of them just looks like this. It just says, has the days of the week and then the back of them has this get it done on the back. And so that idea just sort of, I was like, oh, this would be great. And then I can just move it from week to week. And then I won't have to like make a new one every week, even though sometimes TV show schedules change. So what I did first is in my happy notes that I have right here, ignore this, I was gonna use this for um, a CPR class, but I ended up not using it. So I'm just reusing the page. It was my scratch sheet to just kind of write down all the different shows. I do have an app on my phone called TV Line that sort of lines it out for me, but I just wanted to kind of get an overall look at it and then get what days the shows are coming on. Uh, for this week, some of the shows won't be showing. Like for example, The Flash, it doesn't premiere until 10-9. So I have an idea for premiere dates that I'm actually gonna do in addition with the same half sheet. So we're gonna do the front, then we're gonna do the back. Um, and we're just gonna kind of get started on it. So as you can see, it does say daily schedule up at the top. And the thing that Heather did is she took some of the little TV stickers and she used those to cover up the word daily and uh, sort of decorate the page with some extra TVs. So I'm actually going to sort of rip off that idea because I thought that was really cute of how to get rid of the word daily. So I have the tiny sticker book right here and there are TV stickers in here which I thought would work well and I know that I'm probably gonna have to cut off some of the top parts of the TVs just like she did. So if you've seen her video, or if you go over and take a look, um, I am using this as an idea, like how she kind of did hers. Now, the thing is, is that the word daily might show through like a little bit. but I'm actually okay with that. I might scoot this over just a hair. If I can get it off, there we go. Just to cover up the Y. Well, it's a clear sticker, so a little bit of the Y is gonna show. Some of the stickers that Heather used were matte stickers that covered it completely because she got them from a different book, I believe but I just like the color options that were available here. So I was using these clear ones. And she did use a, a few more TV stickers to sort of decorate out, but I am actually going to do some decorating with some stickers for the shows. So I might add some more TVs later, but for now, that is the one TV I am going to put on there. Okay, so the big thing is getting, uh, getting the shows in here and using using something to sort of bullet point those. So this is the value sticker book that came out of the Joann's box set. And there's a sheet of stickers with a bunch of little asterisks uh, right here. And then these confetti stickers, which I thought were also really cute. So for Monday, there are two shows that air on Monday pretty regularly. Uh, Dancing with the Stars is always on Monday. So I am going to put down this like little asterisk star for that. And then the voice is also on Mondays. I usually start out watching the voice and then sometimes I drop off of watching the voice. It kind of just depends on how the season is going and if I like the people that are in it and everything. So. All right, so we have two there. On Tuesday, there are two. So, well, I'm gonna put one for now because sometimes Dancing with the Stars doesn't have 
doesn't go Monday and Tuesday night. I know since this is premiere week, they are doing a Monday and Tuesday show. So for now, I'm just gonna put one on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, there are technically three, but I'm only caught up on one of them. So I am going to, let's see. Let me use the red one again. I'm kind of like in a weird way color coding with what the show is. But I'm going to do two of them because there's two that I kind of watch. And they sort of go together too. Okay. And then Thursday is the big night. Thursday is the night that has tons of stuff. So there's actually four on Thursday. So this is going to be interesting of how I get them all on there. So there's one. Let's see. Here's two. Let's see. I'll use this kind of turquoise color. The third one. And then the fourth one, I'm going to use yellow. Let's see. I'm going to put that. I'm thinking about like how long the words are. I'll just put it in the middle so it seems kind of balanced. Okay. Friday, there's actually nothing that I watch on Fridays, which is good because I usually work on Fridays. On Saturday, it's college football game day, guys. And then Sunday is going to be interesting. So Sunday is going to have three shows on it now. Here's one. Let's see. Is this color I haven't used yet? Two, and then we'll go black for three. Okay, so I have kind of my bullet points down here on where I'm going to write each show in. Then I'm going to write the shows in, and then I'm going to um, kind of add some extra stickers to it. So. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. Let me zoom you out just a touch. Well, I'll put you like right there. Okay, so on Monday, the first one and the biggest one for me is Dancing with the Stars. I've been watching Dancing with the Stars since the beginning. I've missed a couple of seasons here and there, but for the most part, I watch it all the time. And then I'm going to hold off on putting the times at the moment because sometimes those times shift around. And then I'm going to put the voice right here. Now I know the voice sometimes has Tuesday shows as well or almost always or whatever, but I'm just going to do the one on Monday. Okay, so on Tuesday... The one show that I am putting down is The Flash. And while sometimes there is Dancing with the Stars on Tuesdays, constantly it's The Flash. All right, so on Wednesday, the two I'm putting are Chicago Fire and Chicago Med. I on occasion watch Chicago PD, but Chicago Fire and Chicago Med are the main ones. Okay, so Thursday, let's see. Grey's Anatomy is the first one. I'm like blanking right now. How to spell. All right, and on Thursday is Big Bang Theory. Now this week, Big Bang Theory has a show today on Monday as I'm recording this, but that's not its normal time, it's on Thursday. All right, and then Superstore. If you guys haven't watched Superstore, you need to. It is amazing. And so is this one, The Good Place. 
also amazing. You can catch up on The Good Place on Netflix. All right, so Friday, like I said, there's nothing. So Saturday, Saturday is college football game day. Um, I'm actually gonna leave out the word football because I'm gonna use a sticker from the sports book. All right, and on Sunday is going to be Doctor Who. They're doing Dancing with the Stars Juniors, which is gonna be a kids version of the show, which I'm really excited about. And then Supergirl is on Sundays as well. All right, so there we are with all of the shows and the dates that they are on or the days of the week that they are on. And so now it's time for some extra stickers. So for Dancing with the Stars, I'm using these stickers from the sports book. There are these little ballet shoes. And then from the coordinated accessory packs in watercolor brights, there are some little stars. And I was like, oh, well that's perfect. So I'm gonna get one of the little gold ones. I can get it off. The problem with little stickers sometimes is getting it off the page. And then making sure they don't fold over. All right, so I'm gonna put these little dance shoes right here with this little star slightly overlapped for dancing with the stars. So cute, so cute. All right, and then for the flash, I was hoping that there would be a little weather sticker. So right now I'm looking in Planner Basics. Uh, I don't think there's little weather stickers in here. For sure, I don't, I'm not sure, but I thought I would just check. I can never remember. It's like, I know I've seen stuff somewhere, but I don't always remember where I saw it. Okay, in the tiny sticker book, I know there are, there's some rain clouds and some rainbows. Do we not have any lightning bolts up in here? I know I shouldn't expect for there to be lightning bolts, but why not? So I am actually, gonna, I'm going to use one of these little rain clouds and then I'm going to use a yellow pen and just do a lightning bolt for the flash. Just since there's nothing else going on on Tuesday. Uh, okay, so Wednesday for Chicago Fire and Chicago Med. I had kind of hoped that there would be something I could use for Chicago Fire. But, you know, it's just not coming to mind. And I'm sure there's something in some sticker book somewhere that would be perfect for that. But I probably did not pull that particular sticker book to use. Who knows? Chicago Fire, Chicago Med. You know, if I had some sort of, like, doctor sticker or something... I also have the trendsetter book because there are some kind of like icony things in here. There's confetti and some other stuff. I mean, that would be a lot of cutting. There's a sticker that has like a doctor's appointment on it, but that's just like way too much cutting for me right now. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave Chicago Fire and Chicago Met alone. Um, Grey's Anatomy, again, didn't find any medical stickers. So, but Superstore, there is, there are stickers for, for that because we have little grocery bags and grocery carts and Superstore is like going to Walmart, essentially. That's what the store is all about. Um, where the show is completely about that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to use one of these little purple shopping carts from 
the trendsetter book for that. And let's see. So Doctor Who Dancing with the Stars Juniors. There's really not any room. I'm gonna grab my football sticker to use for college football. It's college football game day. Okay, and so there's nothing going on on Friday. So I kind of feel like just sticking a really cool sticker in there. So there's this neat sticker that says do what you love and do a whole lot of it. And I do love watching TV. So I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna get another TV from the tiny sticker book here. And we'll go with like this hot pink one. I'm gonna put a TV right there. I just feel like Chicago Fire and Chicago Med deserve a sticker next to them. You know what, Begin? A hot dog. A hot dog. A hot dog would be perfect. Let me see if I have... There's food stickers in the tiny sticker book. Ah, oh, perfect. Hot dogs and pizza. Because they are well known for their hot dogs and pizza. So, hot dog and pizza. And my husband is from Chicago, so he would appreciate that. And then I'm also gonna grab a little baseball from my sports book because Cubs. Okay, let's see. I wonder if there's anything, there's just nothing medical coming to mind that I can think of. I really want there to be, but there's not. All right, so I'm looking at right now, I'm looking at the watercolor coordinated accessory pack just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. Okay, so I think we're done with the side. And so now we're gonna flip it over onto the back. So this is where I am going to put premieres. Uh, and the dates of those actual premieres. So first I wanna cover up the get it done at the top. So I'm looking through the Joanne exclusive sticker book because it does have some really cool stuff in it and things I think I can use. Uh, let's see, let's see. Like some of these colorful boxes, things like that, that would be perfect to cover that up. I'm just trying to decide what I want to use. I think I'm just going to go with this pink one so it kind of goes with the theme. I'm going to put this. My main concern is covering up the words. Alright, so there we go. So up here, I'm going to put premiere dates. All right. So this sticker book also has some really cool hexagons in it as well. So today is a big premiere day. It is... What is today? Must be like the 24th or something like that. I think it is. So I'm just going to insert this hexagon right here and I'm gonna write Decoration. 
45 his eight seven. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. So 924. So we've got Dancing with the Stars. We have Big Bang Theory. Because it is premiering tonight. We have The Voice. So that's all tonight. All right, then let's see here. I need tiny hexagons or tiny something. Hi, Kitty. Pardon her. All right, so let's see. This is the 24th. Um, so the 26th would be the next day, the next big day. No, no. She's not happy about that. All right, 9, 26. She doesn't like being booted off the table. Okay, 926. Let's see. Chicago Fire and Chicago Med. Also, I'm going to put down Chicago PD. I don't watch it all the time, but it is coming on. All right, and then the 27th, let's see. I'm going to use a different kind of sticker this time around. I'm going to use one of these little round ones. I'm going to stick it over here. So we'll do nine. Twenty seven. It's going to be Grey's Anatomy. Big Bang is actually getting two episodes this week. Episode two. Good place. Then Superstore actually doesn't premiere for uh, another little while. So let's see, 28th. Uh, 29th, 30th. You know, it'd be really good to have a planner with a calendar right here next to me right now. That'd be really good and smart. Okay, so the next premiere date is going to be the 4th. It's going to be Thursday the 4th. I can't believe I just had to do that, guys. Just because I think these are cool. There are these little tabs. So, let's see. 10, 10-4, Superstore, ta-da, all right, 5, 6, 7, so the next big premiere date is going to be the 7th, so I'm going to use another one of those little tabs just because I like them so much. Let's use a black one. All right, so the next one is gonna be 10-7. And that is gonna be Doctor Who and Dancing with the Stars Juniors. I think we just had cloud cover. All right, and the next one is going to be on ten nine. So 
I am gonna go back to the big hexagons. I'm gonna use this big one. big one I have is for Supergirl. This is actually one of my favorite, favorite shows. I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. It's amazing. I'm going to use this big pink square cover up the bullet points and this is going to be 10 13 I'm actually going to try to find a Superman sticker I think I have or Supergirl it'll work either way Supergirl here, and then this one has some of these clear confetti stickers, which I think are awesome. So I'm going to put that down. Let's see, there's a smaller one. It's got kind of a corner vibe going on with it. There we go. Got some confetti. Alrighty. So, there we have it. Um, I'm going to look for my super person sticker really quick. Okay, I'm back. That wasn't a complete waste of time. I actually don't have a super girl sticker. Uh,. So, not really sure what I'm going to do, but I do have some lightning bolts from a company called Plan With Pizzazz that I can put um, some lightning bolts like I had wanted to. Okay, so there's that. So as far as what I'm going to do for Supergirl, because I don't have anything to represent her is I might just have to wait and get a Supergirl sticker and then put that there. But for now, it'll just be blank. I thought I had some. All I had was Superman. And I'm not putting a Superman sticker there. Because she is a Supergirl and she deserves it. So we're just going to leave it for now. We'll leave that little spot blank. Anyway, so there you go. There is my TV schedule that I'm going to be using. Um, hopefully you guys are watching some of these same TV shows. Let me know if you are in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, enjoy fall TV season. Bye.